since if you guys goof around while I'm on the phone. Um, so here's your homework. No, that's not your homework. This is your homework, right, for today. 45 to 9, uh, 45 to 50, which I'm thinking we will likely have a little bit of time to work on. Um, your first task, and again, I don't like using resource pages because it takes printer paper and we have boatloads of graph paper and printing costs money. So, your first task is going to be to sketch this out on your paper. Now, if your graph paper is has 28 squares wide, which it should, you could potentially, we're not doing much today, you could potentially draw it out like this. Now, you need to be careful as you draw this, though, because the dimensions that were shown relate with each other. So, this 20 tells us the width of the whole thing, but then we want... This region, it'll be easiest for our brain if we try to make those the same. We know that this distance would be the same as this distance, right? We can use this distance to help us determine this spot here and that spot there. So my advice, get a ruler and draw this to scale on your paper, except we're going to have one box equal one foot. Then with your team, I want to give you time to work through this and look up formulas if you need them. Um, what I, with your team, we're going to try to determine the exact, exact, okay, exact to the hundredths place, the exact area here. When your team agrees and you think you have it, you need to come up and see me. Or, or raise a hand. I'll probably be close my hand. But do not rush yourself. We are finding out the area of the gray space. Kids So what's the normal number? I don't know if I called your standard. I just called back whoever had called me. Okay. 80, 
you can answer this. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now, I will tell you, there are multiple ways to solve this problem. So even once you get it one way, I'm going to encourage you to figure out another way that you could actually get to that answer. And I will tell you, shout out to Dr. Smith at Otterbein, it involves drawing some lines. His best advice always is if you don't know what to do, Add a line. Draw something. Label something. Notate something. Calculate something. Do anything that you can do. And at least you're better off than you were before. His class and uh, Dr. Sell one of my favorite courses I took in college. Does he watch your YouTube No, but. But if anyone does watch my YouTube and then they end up at Audubon, maybe they'll be like, oh, I heard about you. So um, Brian Sell was a physics teacher. I love physics. Physics is like where math and science made a baby and it's beautiful. Um, yeah. Like if math and physics, or math and science got together and like made a kid and it's just like beautiful, amazing. Um, but the class was called Physics for Future Presidents. It was not a class for people going into science. It was not a class for people going to, it was a class for normal people to do physics. Hmm. Marin, who are you? I have no idea who that is. Okay. Um, I'm going to start passing some papers back. I have everything in math updated except for chapter 8 mastery. So you turned that in yesterday. Um, and pretty much if you did the corrections as we did them together and gave yourself that feedback, um, you're, it's going to be a mastery. Pretty much. Like, essentially, if you got it back to me with your feedback page and the corrections, I'm going to give you mastery for now. Like, so... If you haven't, get those in today, right? Because deadline's tomorrow. Now, some of you are going to get mastery but see me to chat about whatever because I still want to talk to you about a mistake, but I don't want to hold you up with discovery yet. Okay, so I'm not passing back chapter 8 right now. I'll try to get those back to people at AO and whatever. What about chapter 8 Um, I think I'm, I've got those. Yeah. 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 So stick that back, like staple that sticker back in my bin if you would. The only stuff I haven't graded is the chapter 8 masterpiece. Okay, so it should come back to you right now if you turned in anything that is not chapter 8. So break in. Do you really think you turned in your chapter eight homework and haven't gotten it back yet? <coughs> Yes. 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 Yes.
Did we put them in the wrong bin potentially? I'll check through my other class. Your homework? Yeah. I only. Is that the only thing you need to do? When you turn in your chapter homework, you turn in your homework. I really don't want to go to the area. The closure was part of a group assignment. Oh, I love that this is. Had you not turned it in? So this is the other thing that. No, see, these are chapter 8 classes. These are chapter 8 classes. Yes, Quinn. Is that you? And you just don't have a name? Dang it, Brady. So you got so it's okay. I'll get it in now. So throw your name on the front real quick. And then I just Mayor and I have your 822 through whatever also. Sorry, it got put at the bottom of the file. It doesn't matter. As long as they're in order, it doesn't matter. I want it to be whatever organization you use. So, now we're going to reset binders when we come back in January. Where's the what? It's just what? January. I don't have it. I have Braden's and I have Mary's. Is your, oh. Was your social on the map or what? Oh, I have because you said that like sorry. Wait. Because I think you mastered the stuff. Anyone think they have the area yet? Yes. You? So, I'm going to freeze this for a second. What do you... Well, come here. Okay, don't look at my screen, but what do you think it is? Check your mom. You've made a actually simple math mistake somewhere. Okay. This is about as good as the area. The area is the Proposed solution one I have had a very simple mistake. <laughs> what do you have? What do you have? Two hundred thirty nine. Two hundred thirty nine. So, figure out another way to do it using different math. Okay. What do you think? Okay. Yeah. 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 What if you draw a line? Oh, oh. I drew many. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So now you need to go back and find another way. But, that this can but, be solved. Okay. What do you mean, but, but? You just told me 100 something. You're showing me 10 points something? Oh, these are. Yeah, I got those last ones. What is this subtract? I'm confused what we're subtracting here. Wait, wait, Radius squared. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. Is that button right there, the X to the 2? But you're right, it is just the number times itself. You can just do the math with the number times itself. Um, which homework do you have? 2, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4. Close. Ah, so now, whatever way you use, try to figure out a different way. Yep, to the tenths place, that is accurate. Oh, if you're going hundredth place accuracy, oh, that would actually be accurate. Oh, oh, so try to figure out a different way to do it. However you did it, try to figure out a different way. <coughs> what do you mean easy way? Lizzie, I love your attitude. Yes, yep, that is it. What is the bin? What is the middle of the teacher? Do you want to knife you or do something like a 
sure. Ah, uh, check the iron. Now, <laughs> here's what we're going to do in a minute with checking your homework. The answer for this problem. I was going to check you guys, and I'm just going to write it up. Why, why is there a screen on the floor back there? Oh, I'm sorry. Why is there a needle on the floor back there? Are you kidding? Oh. oh, you're smarter than me. Ha, that's funny. So both of my started A's, they were both there. All right, the area. Can I get a drum roll? Well, yeah, but I was going to lower it and see if it worked. What do you do when you go sideways? 239.46. And then I think it's like a zero or something. That's where pi starts to goof with you. Whether you use 3.14 or the actual pi. Um, really, if you have rounded to 5, 239.5, if you didn't get that, we want to analyze why. So, can do I explain it? Okay, okay. I'll, I'll give you four more minutes to figure out how to get to that answer. If, hold up, if you got that answer, I want to encourage you to try to figure it out a different way, an alternative way. Hey, I'm giving you four more minutes. I get it. Just talk with your team. I don't know. Start writing your song in your head. Okay. Hey. 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 Hey
Oh, I did something different. You are a millennial, though. Arguable. There's different definitions where the generations go. I, even if I am, which is fine. Even if I am, I've always been kind of atypical for my type. I, I never really loved that. That was a thing that just happened when I was in middle school. Oh, like Sandy. It's like Facebook. Thank you. Or before Facebook. Yeah. with anything but I was never like super into all that I was more like let's go outside and ride bikes Ew. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm curious if there's any screenshots so this would have been like what somebody's Zanga page would look like. It like have a song. Oh, Hawthorne Heights. Um, there's new. They have new ones though. But it'd be like I love kittens. And he just like, yeah. So old. This is old, like right, real old, like really basic. No, Zanga existed a long time ago. Like when no yes the eighteen hundreds no when I was in like middle school high school we were just all right that was your four minutes you don't know that all right I mean everyone's only their age for now all right. Teak, can you explain to me the approach that you took? You don't have to like, actually give me physical math, but like, how did your team approach figuring out this composite area shape? By the way, I don't think I ever said that today we're talking about composite shapes. Which, right, which means it's composed of multiple shapes. It's not just a square or just a circle. Right? It's complicated. So, Teak, go ahead. What did you guys do? Boozle, um, five dollar word right there. It doesn't sound like you were bamboozled at all. <laughs> right now, Teak is not really projecting, right? He's kind of talking through his desk. But, so, if I reiterate what Teak said, he said, we were bamboozled, but I think that's a lie. Then he said, we just found each separate area, like each region. So, Teak, you mean like you found the rectangle area, and then you found the circle area, and you found a triangle area, and another, that, yeah, that's what I would have done. I don't think we were bamboozled at all. Who did that? So then, now this is funny because you guys were in the same group. Mallory, do you have any other way that we could do it as opposed to finding gray spaces and adding them up and taking away the circle? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. How, what is the entire width? 28. 420. And 15. So that gets 420? Yes. So then, then, what do we do? Peyton? 
find the area of the white space and subtract it. Right? So if I find this area, and then over here now, a few of you are like, wow, well, I don't want to find this area. She gross. Shout out Dr. Smith. Lines. Lines. Triangle. Hey, here's the fun part too. This triangle is the same as this triangle. This triangle is the same as this triangle. And that's just a rectangle. Now, now hold up. I'm going to do less time on this one. We're going to see if you can do three minutes. Figure out this area. So, who knows what this actually is? Braylon. Basketball court. This is the foul line. This is the foul line. Yes. Hey, by the way, all Braylon did was read. <laughs> Figure out the area. Do it. Do it. Make it happen. We, we just look at the numbers. So we read the words. Can you verify it? Not like this. Is there a way to be confident? Yeah. I, I like what you're describing. Yes, it does. It just doesn't say directly. I know. I know. We don't know the height. The parenthesis or the quotation. We don't know. <laughs> You're funny. Do you know what the, the height is? Oh, hey, how, wait, now, hold on. I I have some issues. Now, I like this class a lot, but I have some issues. I just asked Caitlin if she knows the height, and she said no, but then Gabe immediately was like, well, I did. You're in a team. Share your knowledge. So, remember, sharing is care. Gabe. Hey, Gabe wants to talk. Yes. Gabe, how do you... How do you figure out your height is? Okay. So, if you know the um, circle is like equal on all sides, like, yeah, they're equal. Yeah. equal. Yeah. So, if the radius is six, uh, so the radius of the bounding ball should be six. Oh, wait, do I have to add it? Wow. Um, really? <laughs> Use the information you know. Yeah. Now! <laughs> Always, somebody falls into the trap of saying, let's get the circle and then add the. No! no. 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 The weird gross shape. Hey, I get that we're excited. I don't know exactly why, right, but I get that we're excited. We're just solving area. Connor, how should we actually break it up? So, Connor did 19 times 12 first. And got what? 228. So 6 squared times pi, which is 36 pi, which if I divide this by 2, it's really 18 pi is the math we need to do. And we add that with our 228, and what did you get total? Any verification? Me. I just wrote that too. I just wrote that too. There we go. Question? Quinn, question, answer. 
Good. Question. So the big thing here is analyzing what's the best, and by that I really mean what's the most efficient way to break up the sugar. Right? There's certain things that are easy to calculate, other things that are not as easy to calculate. If we go to look at an old-fashioned sewing template, anyone ever, like, any, anybody's mom or dad sew, and you've ever seen, like, a, like, this would be to make a shirt. Um, and it, like, Mrs. Goldring has some great stories of, like, you know, she was huge into that sort of stuff. Um, my mom, too, she saw this, has a sewing room in the upstairs. And they have giant grid poles, like, big old, I bought my mom one for Christmas one time, but huge, that unfold, they can measure stuff and cut things and make templates. So if this is the template for a shirt, and it, this would be one side of it, right, and then the back would be, you know, another. Um, what is the area of fabric we're going to need to make that, that we see? So take a moment, talk with your team. I don't really care that much if you actually calculate it, but I want you to analyze how we get that one. The top of the top. So, well, there's an easier way. Or is it so easy to divide all of the mark off? Oh, we have two both sides. No. Really, you can just do one. I'm a is that? 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 What about this? No, but Olivia asked, can I just count every square? And I said, well... My smart board's kind of getting funky yeah, these days, and I don't like it. So this is like half. This is like half. So I'm going to go ahead and put those together and say that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six across. Now, for that to make sense, two and a half, two and a half, this should be 11 in total, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So we know that's 11. And one, how tall was this? Uh, well, I can't Gross. So we would envision Yeah. Are you surprised? Are you surprised? We would envision the whole circle. Right? Now, that part we can get to. Right? Envision the whole circle, cut it in half, take that away. However, who can talk me through the sleeves? George? Oh, yeah, my smart word's a little goofy, but okay. if you want to navigate. George needs a laser pointer. I need a laser pointer. Point. Putting that on my list. I've been asking for oh, my God. Yeah, but my siblings and I decided we're just doing stockings. I'll get you a laser pointer for Christmas. I love it. 
You already got me a safe word. I did? Or no, sorry, I thought that was written. Sorry. Another, I mean, you guys want it. It's the ass weird. This is one. Yeah. There's still an easier way. There is. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. Micah, what do you think the easier way is? Hey, chill. Why? You gotta be able to explain the why. Can I go up? Yes. Yeah, Alright, I might be able to do something that will help you. Whoa. You really destroyed this tent. You destroyed it all. Wrong way. Yo, calm it down, Perez. <laughs> Looks like a cat Ah, like uh, this is it. Okay, so CPM apparently didn't make that image correctly. Go ahead, Mike, you give it a shot. So guys, a parallelogram, a parallelogram is a rectangle. It's just a funky looking rectangle. But I need you to get this in your head right now. A parallelogram is a rectangle. Now, not technically by definition, it's missing the right angles, but by area, it's a rectangle. So when you have a parallelogram, all you need to do to find the area is base times height, because this section out here could actually fill in, oh, come on. It could slide up and fill in this section up here. So five by three, the area of both of these parallelograms, 15, 15, anyone get this area? Like a, it's like 143 minus something. Minus 40, I got a whole 8 So we get like 129, 8286, something like that. I hadn't borrowed yet. All right, last thing we're doing today is checking homework. So hopefully you still have the 911912 out. Oh boy, I do not. All right, here's answers for 911. Oh, yes. Guys, I, I had it on the board to get those out at the beginning of class, and I never said put them away, so. What do you mean you don't like answers? Life's all about figuring out the answers. The answer is not 42. The meaning of life is 42. It's from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. All right, idea, alt print screen. I'm going to throw those answers up on the TV, and then I'll be able to move on. That's not what I wanted. Alt print screen. 10, 11, 12, 13. This is difficult because we did pick any six. So, like, you're just checking whatever you did. Um, yeah. Hey, random survey. Actually, this is a cluster survey. Um, if we were to make a disc golf club for like extensions for the spring, like once weather breaks, who would be interested? I'm just taking a random poll. Well, it would be to develop your skill and get better. Yeah, you, so that would be, okay, thank you. I just wanted like a cluster sample, just so that was like about half of you guys. Um, we're asking for money to order some stuff. Like Wikipedia is asking for money. Yeah, I'm actually asking for more. They just wanted me to give them three dollars. That would buy one disc golf disc. No, if, if you get them for like a deal. All right, scrolling. Now, if any of these seem off to you. I'm going to start tomorrow by taking questions also because we're running out of time quick today. So if any of these seem off and you're like, oh, wait, what did I do there? Try to figure out what you did. But guys, remember, it's not about you having the answer on your paper. It's about you understanding the process. Okay, so if there's a process you don't understand, we should talk about it. Scrolling. 
Uh, this is 17. So guys, this sampling one is 17. And then I'm going to freeze that and get you guys 18, 20. Up on the TV, 18 through 20. I know some of you are starting to let your foot off the gas pedal, and I don't know why. No Keep driving, guys. Then go to the gas station. You know what the gas station really is? Winter break. It'll fill your tank back up. Wait, what? Winter break is like you're stopping at the gas station. It's going to fill your tank back up so you can drive on through another couple months. Um, the rest of those are up on the TV. Uh, that's all the time we got. So we will check 912 tomorrow and take questions. For those of you who are just like really wanting it, that is the beginning of 912. But we'll check that tomorrow. Get out of here, guys. Marin, my favorite part of the parent.